one. A mighty sovereign did escape his enemies of war. By stealth, the rogues had captured him not quite two days before. Unarmored and on foot across the countryside went he. And not a soul who saw him would know him for royalty. He, for the nuns, must stay in flight till he'd reclaim his steel. But when he rejoined the fight, they would feel the might of the king. They would feel the might of the king. As dusk approached, he came upon what might have been a farm. T'was in no state for planting, but could shelter him from harm. The woman there seemed not the sort inclined to take a guest. So in their liege's name he begged a place that night to rest. Stop, Agapod, have you no shame? I'll not shed you a tear. Though my stable's yours to claim, I am not here the name of the king. I am not here the name of the king. So eager was our prince to prove his fighting father's son. He's torn this land to shreds, and yet the bloodshed's never done. This farm has failed like all the rest since he took up the throne. His wars devoured my sons and husband, now I'm here alone. She spoke every word, a poisoned dart, in her heart and fierce, without courtesy or art, and it pierced the heart of the king. And it pierced the heart of the king. He slept on straw and bid the widow farewell on the morn. By noon his men saw him return and blew the battle horn. Your majesty is back, and now to slaughter them we go. Billy that, said the king, and to fall a parley with the foe. My liege, said his marshal, that's absurd, you've got no high release. Because my command you've heard, now make peace the word of the king. Now make peace the word of the king. Yielded up his conquests, told his generals to disband. He sent his soldiers home, poured out his coffers to the land. No glory earns a king who lays his father's sword to rust. The nobles and their chroniclers consigned him to the dust. But in the countryside his fame the generations cheered. Like a bright enduring flame, they revered the name of the king.